What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So we are now getting reports that there's new stimulus talks that are about to begin. These are going to be coming from Senator Joe Manchin and the White House. We got these, we got major updates here, okay? Major updates because we are now seeing reports that the White House, they are now open to the idea of a smaller Build Back Better Act. We got other reports that say House progressives say we cannot afford a smaller bill, yet they are open to that idea. So we're going to address that in just a minute. And we also know that Nancy Pelosi is in support of additional COVID relief as well. So I will have more updates on that as well. Now, first off, if you enjoy these daily uploads, please do me a favor and go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. Now, let's get into it. So a month ago, Senator Joe Manchin actually tanked the Build Back Better Act. This actually came as a surprise to many Democrats because they were actually negotiating with him. So he was negotiating. He never said, according to reports, he never said he would accept the bill, but he was negotiating directly with Democrats. And then all of a sudden he says, I won't support that bill. Now, he made it very clear that he is open to negotiations, but he wasn't negotiating with anybody over the past month. He hasn't talked directly with uh, the White House or President Biden, but the White House says that they will restart negotiations with him. And they made it clear, these negotiations will be directly and privately with Senator Joe Manchin. Now, this is gonna be somewhat difficult to do a report on what's coming from the White House or from Senator Joe Manchin, because they're probably not really gonna talk about it, but we always get these leaks. So I will do my best to figure out what's going on there and fill you in on all those updates as we get them. Now, at the same time, here's what's happening. Democrats are actually working to put together a smaller bill and hopefully win over moderate Democrats like Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. But, when Senator Joe Manchin was asked today about that, he simply said, and I quote, I haven't seen anything or heard anything yet. Now, he was also very clear that we are gonna have to start with a clean slate. We pretty much have to start over because where we were seeing some support, things changed. We saw so much inflation over the past three months that really uh, the, 2.2 and the reason i say 2.2 trillion dollar uh you know build back better act is because that's what the bill is that's the bill that passed through the house the 1.75 trillion dollar uh build back better act that was being negotiated in the senate there was never a clear uh you know amount of, you know an amount of money that was going to be you know going towards that that's the issue is that nobody had anything that was concrete saying, okay, here's where we're gonna start. This is our foundation, let's build off of it. The only thing people were negotiating was really climate. But even Senator Joe Manchin, according to reports, isn't set as to whether or not he supports that either. So we do know that multiple Democrats have already floated the idea of a smaller bill or multiple ideas for this. They also want to start with the extension of the child tax credit payments and even reduce prescription drug prices. These are where they want to start. Here's the reason why this is, this is somewhat worrisome. Because the key right now is that we have to tackle inflation and we need to reduce everyday expenses. That's the key. And I said this the other day, or maybe it was last week, whenever it was, uh, you can go go back to the channel, watch. It's like the, the key is inflation or inflation is the key or something like that. Okay, go and watch that video because that's what lawmakers want to tackle. Now, these two provisions would reduce expenses, but we don't know what they're going to do to inflation. It would really come down to how are these things funded? Are everyday people going to fund these bills with higher taxes? Is this going to come through businesses or will the you know, billionaires and multimillionaires of our country pay for this? That's what's going to dictate whether or not we see inflation. But there are multiple problems with a smaller bill. There's a few that I want to really address. First, Steny Hoyer, 
Uh, he's the number two in the House. He says that Democrats would be abandoning their opportunity to pass a transformative bill. Second, House Democrats worry that not passing a larger bill will likely cause them to lose in the upcoming election. And finally, President Biden. What did President Biden say today? He had this to say, and I quote, it's clear to me that we're going to have to probably break it up. Break it up. He also went on to say that he's not sure if the child tax credit payments will get done, but he says he wants to keep pushing for those and tuition-free community college. However, just to point this out, two people oppose this, Senator Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. They oppose tuition-free community college because they say it is not free. Somebody will have to pay for it or everybody will have to pay for it. We also know President Biden stated that he believes parts of the Build Back Better Act will be passed before the midterm elections. And we even heard from Hakeem Jeffries. He's the number five Democrat in the House. And he says, and I quote, it's my expectation that we are going to revisit in short order the Build Back Better Act. So he's pretty much coming out and saying, yeah, it's my expectation we are going to you know, address the Build Back Better Act, but we are going to address it in smaller bills, smaller little packages. Maybe it's the child tax credit payments and you know, uh, something like you know, prescription drug prices, or it could be climate and we have things like you know, Medicare or paid family leave, or I'm not saying those any of those are actually gonna pass, but that's what they're talking about is putting two things together where some lawmakers be like, no, I am not gonna do you know Medicare. We're not gonna expand Medicare. But at the same t time, they're like, oh, we have to do climate. So if we're gonna put climate and Medicare together, well, I don't like Medicare, but I really love climate, push them together and the bill might pass. That's the expectation. Whether or not it actually happens, that's a different story. So we will see. Now, here's something I really want to address. As of this afternoon, the expectations are that lawmakers will fight to see climate and early education included into the next bill. Even President Biden stated that there is support for about 500 billion for energy and environmental policies and says that support for early child, childhood education is there as well. Outside of those things, really we don't know what would have support or not. Well, we kind of have an idea. But just to give you an idea, the 500, roughly $500 billion for climate and energy and uh, universal pre-K, which is pretty much early childhood education, right? Those two things, that's exactly what Senator Joe Manchin wanted. That's exactly what he wanted and his proposal, okay? So just to give you an idea, President Biden is pretty much just throwing the same, uh, the same bill or the same uh, you know, proposal that Senator Joe Manchin gave him just right back out there. That yes, there's support for this. So I think it's very interesting because Senator Joe Manchin, just a couple weeks ago, pulled the support for those, those proposals. So I, honestly, I don't know What's going on? I don't know if, if lawmakers are just playing games and President Biden doesn't realize that these games are being played. I have no clue. So we'll see. But on a different note, we do know that uh, House Democrats are actually working to get the omnibus bill done as soon as possible. We know they have until February 18th to pass a government funding bill before the government actually shuts down. And Nancy Pelosi stated that Democrats are actually considering adding COVID relief into this omnibus bill as well. But the issue here is that this could really complicate matters and it would complicate uh, Republican support for this package. So we don't know if there's this is gonna be a guaranteed thing or not, but it will be interesting to figure out whether or not, uh, or really where uh, COVID relief is gonna be going and how much will be going to, to what uh, kind of policies. So as we know more there, I promise I'll come back and I'll fill you in on those updates as soon as we get them. But just understand, we are coming down to, I, I, like I said over the last week, is I think the next two to three weeks are going to be pivotal. I think these are going to be big. We are going to figure out who supports what. 
we got votes today, right? And so everything's gonna come down to, I think the next couple weeks, I think before the omnibus bill passes or before it exp or the kind of the stopgap bill expires on February 18th, I think we have a lot of answers. That's a few weeks away, actually four weeks away. So pretty much a month. So we're gonna see what happens over that time frame, but just understand I will be here every step of the way. So make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you never miss an update. But that's what we got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor, go ahead, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.